In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called surrounding regions. So given a 2D board containing x and o, the letter o, uh, capture all regions surrounded by x. So a region is captured by flipping all o's into once in the surrounding region. So here you can see we have a 2D character array. And basically, we're just trying to uh, flip all the capture o's to x, right? So here you can see we have those capture o's right there. Uh, because the surrounded x, right, because the o's are surrounded by x. So in this case, we're just going to flip them to x. This one is not going to flip to x because this one is actually at the border. So you, this, think about it this way. If there is no elements, there's no x at the bottom, or if this element's at the border, then this is not captured, right? So in this case, if it's at a border, it's not captured. So what we can do is we can just not changing that, not changing that to x. We can just keep it as it is but if there is a capturing right like this then we're just going to um, flip those to x so you can see the explanation surrounded regions shouldn't be on the border right so in this case surrounded region is not at the border which means that o on the border of the board are not flipped to x so this one is not flipped to x any o that is not on the border and is not correct uh, is not connected to an o on the border would be flipped to x so if it's connected, right, if this is O, then that means that all of those O's are connected, so they're not going to flip, right? So in this case, two cells are connected if they are adjacent cells connected horizontally or vertically. So let's take a look at another example. So let's say here we have another example like this, and we have O here, O here, and O here, and another O here. So what's going to be our result? Basically, what's going to happen is we know that this one right here is surrounded by X, right? It's captured. So we're going to turn this to x and this one is not captured because in this case these are all borders right all uh, at the border so in this case this is connected to a border right the um all four direction top left right bottom if one of those direction is if one of those cells are, are o right they're connected then that means those ones all connected so they're not captured right so let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So what we can do this is we can basically first find the O, right? Once we find the O, we can just see if this O is surrounded or not, right? If we know this O is surrounded by simply check the top direction, the left direction, the right, the bottom direction, we do a depth search for all four directions to see if this O is connected to a uh, to a border that is O, right? To a border that is O will be like this, right? So if see if this is connected. In this case, it's not, right? Because all four directions are surrounded by X will be like this, right? So if C, if this is connected, in this case, it's not, right? Because all four directions are surrounded by X. So in this case, X. So in this case, we turn it to X, right? And then we just, same thing for this one. We just do a depth search for all four directions to see if this element is connected to a border that is equal to O. In this case, we do. Then we can not turning this to X, right? So that's one way we can do this, right? That's one way. The other way what we can do this is find the, um, traverse the entire, all the borders that we have, right? This border right here, this border right here, this border right here, and this border right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to find the O, right? In this case, this is the O. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it into a different character, right? Let's say we turn it into um, one, right? Letter, letter one, right? And basically the goal is that we want to find all the elements that are equal to O that this O can access, right? If this is O and this is connected to this O right here, this border, we're going to turn it to 1. This is O, we can turn it to 1. This is the O that this element can access, right? Because they are all connected, right? Then we can just turn it to 1. We do a depth for search for all four directions. If it's X, we can just terminate our search. If it's O, we can just turn it into a character 1. Right, and then what we're going to do at the end is we're going to do a linear search for each and every single columns, uh, sorry, rows, and then basically our job is to turn all the O into X, and turn all the one into an O, right? Turning it back to an O, like this, right? So we're just using a temporary character to symbolize a found characters that don't have to change at the end, so we just change it back, right? So that's one way. That's the other way we can do this, and let's try to implement the solution. So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem in code. Our first step will be to, to do our base case, right? So if board is null, 
or if our board dot life is basically equal to zero, then we can our job is done. We can just return, right? Our job is done um, because the rows because the 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 array is empty and it doesn't really give us any constraints. So that's our first step, uh, first task. And then what we're going to do then is we're just going to define our um, rows length, which is going to be board dot length. Okay, we're also going to have columns length, which is equal to board at zero dot length. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to just traversing each and every single, so the top and the bottom row, right, to find if there is a O. If it is, then we're just going to do a defer search for all four directions that um, this current O can access turn it into a, this temporary variable, right? Turn into temp, this, this temporary variable, uh, which is character one, right? So, so while I is less than the, um, basically the columns length, right? So columns length, right? We're basically, we're basically getting the top and the bottom row first, right? So if board, Right, board at um, at zero at i, right? So this is the top row is equal to O, then we're just gonna do a defer search. We're gonna have a method called defer search. It pass it takes the uh, the current coordinate, which is gonna be zero, which is the 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 current row, and the i is gonna be the uh, the current call, right? So this is basically the top and bottom rows. Okay, so if we have a situation where the board at the rows dot length, sorry, row length, rows length minus one, which is the last row at i is equal to O, then we're just going to do the defer search for the current position. So rows, rows length minus one, which is the current row i is going to be the, the column right for that for search for that then what we're going to do is we're going to do the left and right columns right so we can say for the i is equal to zero i is equal to rows rows length because in this case we're just going to iterate each and every single item for that column right so if the current position so i at zero right the first column is equal to o then we're going to do a depth search to pass in the current coordinate and if four at i at uh, columns length minus one right the last column if it's o if it's O, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a depth first search for I at columns length minus one. Right, so the last, pretty much the last column. So that's gonna be our left, our right columns. We're we'll basically just found, find the O. If we find the O, we're just gonna get all the O's that are connected to this O, turn it into a temp variable for now, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn O to X and one, right, the character one to O, turning back to O. So by basically doing a linear search, I is equal to zero, I is less than uh, rows like I plus plus. And then we're gonna have a nested for loop J is equal to zero. So we're just going to traversing the entire columns, right? So see if the current element, so board at i at j, right? So see if it's actually equal to, um, but yeah, basically if it's equal to o, if it's equal to o, we're just going to get this current element, right? It's going to equal to x. And if we have a situation where the board at i at j is 
equal to temp, uh, the temp variable, which is going to turn this element into uh, O, right? Right, turning it back to O. So, and then once our job is done, we now we have to do the defer search method. It's going to be void. We're going to call defer search. It takes x and y, right? So sorry, the rows that we're on and the columns that we're on. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a array global variable. So we're just going to convert. We're just going to make the array is going to equal to border. So we're going to point the array to the board, to the array. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the base checking, right? So if rows is equal to um, less than zero, or if rows, current row, right, is actually equal to, uh, or I should say bigger than or equal to array.length, then we can just return our job is done. If columns is less than zero, or if columns is bigger than or equal to array at zero dot length, then what we're going to do is we're just going to return. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to see if the current element is not an O, right? If it's not an O, we don't we don't have to do anything, right? Our goal for this effort search is to turn O into temp, or temp the character one, right? If the current element is connected to the border. So if array at rows at columns is equal to x or array at rows at columns is equal to temp, right? So if we've already been here before, we don't have to do anything. We can just return our job is done. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make the current element, so rows at columns, is going to equal to temp. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to get, do a defer search for all four directions. So let's try to, now yeah, basically this is how we solve the problem, right? So in this case, we do a defer search for all four directions. And then if we, basically if we have the border that is equal to O, then we can just do a defer search for all four directions to turn that into temp. And at the end, we're just turning it back from temp to, uh, which is character one to O, and then from the remaining O to X. So let's try it with a few more. Okay, so let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our answer. So this is how we solve this problem. So the time complexity in this case is going to be uh, linear, where n is going to be the number of elements that we have in the uh, in the array.